I do want to make a point that we have announced a restructuring of business, some sale of assets. Of the 53, 54,000 jobs that people talk about us shedding, I do want to remind you that only 15% are actual reductions of labour in terms of the roles they're in. 85% are us selling assets and putting those assets in others' hands because the assets themselves we don't believe fit what we should be doing in the next 10 to 15 years. Don't fit, I think, our core skills most, and I think others will do better. It would be wrong for us to run those assets for cash and shut them prematurely against what somebody else might achieve who's willing to put some more capital into those assets and think of a more constructive or, if you like, more collaborative, productive way of operating. But I do want to make sure people understand that, that the, the numbers that were quoted uh, need to be understood uh, fairly carefully. In South Africa, we've partnered many towards the transformation of the, un of the industry in the country through our open forums in technical innovation, creating BE-owned and run mining companies of scale, which are able to compete with established players. players. I think we've made a mistake, though. We've not let BE companies fail as a conscious policy decision. It is the right call to do everything you can to make sure the company fails. But if it's going to fail on the basis that the leadership is not able to compete, then the tough reality that has to be faced is maybe it should fail because the money that could have been otherwise directed to a new and emerging BE player may be better spent on that group who will make it work. If we prop up those that can't be successful, we do those that can be and will be and have the capacity and the desire to be successful, we do them a disservice. I don't want that to be heard the wrong way, but it's a reality, it's a tough market, a natural selection in that market. If you've given the opportunity, you've got to make sure that you deliver on all your commitments as a partner, but at the end of the day, if the team isn't able to rise to the challenge, it may have to fail. And unless we understand and are constructive in that process, then I think we are doing many of the people coming through the system and, and I see more and more leadership standing up that really does have the capacity but they don't have economic support for what they're doing because we're tying up resources with those that maybe won't be able to make it. That's a tough call and that's something we're thinking very carefully about in our business. If I say this, if we've got a partner, we'll do everything we can to make sure the partner's successful. But at some point, we have to make some tough calls and it doesn't serve anybody well if we're propping up something or someone that won't be successful.